Two points up. How is everybody doing today? We are jumping into the band known as Unlucky Morpheus with an album called Unfinished. I mean, it looks kind of finished to me. Maybe the carry on singing to Sky just ends abruptly and it's just like it just doesn't finish. We'll see. As we get towards the end, but that's it. We are starting. It's like nine songs, it's about 33 minutes long, so it shouldn't take us more than what, like an hour to go for it. But yeah. Let's go, let's start, let's see where the fuck you're going. The first song is, in is instrumental, as you can imagine, so let's go. A very strange opening man, but okay. Whatever they want to do, I guess. But some sexy violin to go with it. I guess they're hyping it the fuck up for whatever reason. They know it's an album, like, they know they're not like, just saying. I went into the vessel, into an ending source for some go. I know, that's what I'm thinking. Basically, the whole album's in Japanese, so we're gonna have to kind of just follow where we can. I love the drum, man. The drumming is so technical. Fuki's really bringing it over there, man. Watch me fuck up the name really badly, but it's fine. No, I'm right. It's fine. I love the little mellow death bits, even though it's some funny mode. It's very cool. It works really well with the both of them, just... I don't think they work separately, which is so weird. You can feel the whole music build as well. That's crazy in this mode. It's a violent solo, man. Holy shit. I mean, like, for me, like, Fuki's voice grew on me. Like, it took time for her voice to grow on me. I imagine if you are first time listening to Unlocking Morpheus, you might find her vibrato and her voice kind of strange. 
It's the same with a lot of Japanese bands, but the more you listen to it, the more her voice grows on you, I would say specifically. Like, that's kind of always been my thing with them. Like, it takes a couple of listens for a lot of the songs to grow. I mean, like, when I first when I first heard Black Pentagon, I wasn't sure. And then it just took a few extra listens just to kind of get there. That's just me. That's just my kind of journey with them anyway. But still, let's see. Where are we going story-wise? Are we going to have a story? Is it going to be, like, individual songs not really leading into anything? Because it's unfinished, obviously, so... Let's see. No choice but to turn. Destiny is a tragedy that begins to take hold. Time has taken her night in cruel equal measure. That could be night without the K. I'm not too sure. Um, the beast that lives in her brain eats away at, at her memory moment by moment in, in the squalor of time. She is swept away by the power of, witch of witchery. Like, don't expect perfect lyrics here. It's not really going to be happening. It's just translated. So. So what I'm guessing, the beast is almost like the, um, it's like some kind of disease, some kind of darkness that's taking over her brain. In a way, she she's slowly losing who she is in a sense. Grief is an endless hell, and I surrender to the intoxication of passion. Compressing time, cutting off reason. A world that has lost its ideals, like yeah. Grief is an endless hell, that much we can agree. And, and she surrenders to that intoxication of passion, to that, maybe not passion it means, maybe it means like, you know, to that... A never-ending thing where, like, the moment you go into grief, it's a spiral that you'll always go into grief again eventually until you die. In some kind of ways, anyway. Uh, falling into the universe, spreading loneliness. Let's deny all existence. Like, you know, let's cut off everything. Let's make it so that total blackness is all that's left. The tyranny of the world has withered away, leaving no seeds. The lion's heart that touched the beginning room is lost in the haze of the distance. Like, like I said, don't expect perfect lyrics, but... Like, I'm getting the kind of idea, like, like the world's a really fucked up place. It would, be, it would be better to block it out, but in all reality, we probably can't, to be honest. But still, let's go. The chorus is really nice to me. It's not really powerful, it's just kind of, like, simple and catchy and nice. Oh, this is sick, man. I was not I wasn't gonna say sexy, but sick came out so good job, boy. This is beautiful man. The barrel to perfect. Giving me chills, man. What the fuck, man? I love this build up beat man, this build up beat is just too good man. It's really 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 fucking technical. Quite an opening song, I must say. Quite the fucking song to open with. Let's still let's see. His wings are staying black, grief isn't end so I got my I give myself over to the intoxication of passion. This bit we've already done, right? The future flows backwards, touching the past. That's weird. How can the future flow backwards? Like, that doesn't make any kind of logical sense. I know it's like a translation, but... I don't know, man. 
That's a, that's a weird, that's a weird translation. Um, touching the past. The mirror reflects emptiness and nothingness in the world. Even your Thank you for the sub, mum. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. You're totally fine. <laughs> What's up, man? Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. I don't even know what the fuck I was saying now. Um, 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 um. Oh, that's it. Even the scenario, sorry, is confounded by chaos. So, yeah. The mirror, the thing that's making the future flow backwards into the past, is, like, reflecting the emptiness of the world onto itself. Like, showing the world how nothing, how nothing it is, how empty it is, how fucked up it is, like, whichever way you want to go. Like, it, it, like even, like, even the sorrow has chaos running through it at the same time. Will her ending change? The grief is an endless hell. Like, did a bit of really compressing time, cutting off reason a world that has lost its ideals. And yeah, wandering with her body into limbo, she arrives. It is the place where we want... Where we were once promised. The story ends. Someone else's tra tragedy begins. Fate revolves. So yeah, it's going person to person to person, basically. Like, like she's in limbo. She's in that place where she's choosing whether to die, whether to stay alive. It's up to her at that point. The place where she is promised. Her story ends. That story ends right there. And then somebody else's begins. Like it's like fate is just going between person to person to person to person, never ever ever ending. The unfinished job of fate, in a sense kind of linking the album together a little bit at least that's probably what i'm trying to do anyway either way like i love the, te the technical parts of the song i love how it's put together on ending sorceress this is obviously like an unlucky morpheus classic at this point but it's so fucking good man it's just like i haven't heard it in quite some time and it's absolutely amazing one of the best i must say just from hearing it just now it's one of the best <laughs> The growls aren't really fit in the volumes as much. Well. It's kind of weird, but I don't know. Even here, his growls feel too high for the music. If that makes sense. Like he's too high. He needs to be a little bit lower. Not under the mix, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm sure. I'm going to say how how the mix flow is, but why now I'm not filling this one the switch, but I would say the solo is going to hit massively, but. The solos are always amazing, man. Yo, that key change downwards, man. I mean, as much as I wasn't feeling it, the solo really made up for a lot of it. But a solo can't make up for a whole song grab. That's kind of it's kind of not how the shit works. I think the key change down might be a good way to go. I don't know. We'll see. 
But yeah, let's see. Yeah, until it's all over. Until it's over. Hacking through ruins and deserts. Or deserts. Yeah, deserts. What the fuck am I reading? Um, metal for ferocity. Deny the pretense of civilization. The wreckage of scrap and steel is a machine. Um, 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 not a fucking clue, man. Um, like, deny the pretense of civilization. I kind of get everything else. I don't know. Like, you're hacking through ruins and deserts, like... I guess, like, it could be, like, machinery. It could be literally, like, you know, where we're getting rid of the fogs, getting rid of, like, deserts, getting rid of a lot of stuff because we're trying to build houses and other stuff and that type of other thing. I don't know, man. Emotions, etc. Unforgivable. The endless bodai. I have orders. This is a secret. The reason for our existence. Okay, yeah, obviously we all have emotions. Um, and then, obviously, there is a secret of our existence intercepted by red twin eyes. Life forms that have failed to pale. Sweep them all away. I look up to the creator who waits on the moon. I mean, Americans must have met the creator if he waits on the moon. I'm just saying. Um, but I cannot escape the endless, uh, bossy, buzzy, busy, no matter. Uh, from the destiny that leads to you, the reason for being to perdition. Interesting. Interesting. Let's do the. I think this is the course. Oh, I can't tell you my name nor my heart in the long time that I've hit them. Words, I'll never forget. Thoughts, I'll never forget. I'm going to destroy you again and again and again. I'll destroy your ego over and over and over. I am the only one who remembers the reason for your existence towards perdition. Like, interesting. Like, it's almost like where it's like trying to break somebody's reason for being. Trying to make them into something subservient in a weird way. I don't know, man. The, the translation's really fucking weird for this one, but I don't know. This one's not really for me as much, but either way, man. There's some cool bits. <clears throat> oh, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. Doesn't mean every song's going to be amazing, but it's still not really for me. The end of it kind of makes sense, like, uh, fleeting encounters and memories in the long time that reminds you know how, like, we're rewinding time in the very beginning. We're still in that phase. I'll never forget the promise we made. I will break you again and again and again. A plan of the end to the end of harmony. You know, going into into perdition, into destruction, into all of those nice things. I love the solo. The solo is sick. Um, I know his vocals didn't really fit the style of music. I would say like the music was a little bit too symphonic and less melodic, so it didn't really suit the way his high goes in a weird way. But still, that's just me in it. Ah, the man. Let's see. Let's see where we go. Proper carnival vibes, man. Visual castle. Oh, this one's way fucking better, man. 
Fuki's really bringing it, man. The voice is so fucking good, man. So much power in it. Ooh, before the solo. Before the solo. I'll get back a little bit, obviously, but... But damn, like, it went from like, kind of, um, what was it, what the fuck am I thinking? Like, it went from like, a little bit of a, of like, a weird mid-song to something amazing. Like, I think there's just certain songs that just don't quite hit with me. It's the same with any band, man, not every band has a perfect catalogue for me. Like, not even my favourite bands have a perfect catalogue half the time. There's only very few that really hit every song after song after song after song. It's very difficult to do that. Especially for me, I'm picky as fuck, man, so I'm very hard to please music wise. But yeah, Unlocking Morpheus are always amazing, though, to be honest. Let's say, uh, recollections of machines and steam. A prison on earth where no light can reach. Give the give your body, give the body of your choice. Spark, spark and sparks of comfort. That's uh, such a weird sentence. Um, Like, give your body the choice to spark comfort, I guess. I have no idea, mate. Uh, before I go mad, uncover. Oh, you who have not, who have not, and you who take away in this world of decay. Oh, whom shall I send? The battle red ecstasy, a sea of blood that has sunk its wrath. I shed my body of, of flesh and blood with hearts in the wreckage. Like almost like she's giving away her body to let her soul, her spirit, thrive and prosper and become something else. The bird that struck the sky and fell in this world of decay to death, as if it, as if in a challenge. When even tears have decayed instead of asking the glassy eyes. Oh, just sing. Interesting. Like... Imagine, like, strike... Imagine if a bird could actually strike the sky. I mean, I mean, they've only got a limit to their height, right? They can only go so far as the egg gets thinner and thinner and thinner before they eventually can't fly any higher. So I get what they mean. Um, like, to death as if in a challenge. Like, when even tears have decayed. Like, you know, when even... When your tears are gone. When everything is gone. And it's just your anger, your impatience, your ferocity. Like, instead of, instead of like, basically being glassy-eyed. Instead of just thinking of your emotions. Just think. What's well, a difficult breakdown, man. Holy shit. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> If it ain't smart enough, go for it. Totally. Totally not, but you know what I mean. I listen to everything. Or mostly everything. The solos are masterpieces, man. Especially the violin solos. I love his lows, his lows are cool. It's a thing, the lows, unless it's twisted in some electronic one. Something like that. Ah, shit, it's gonna key change up on it. Quite a change. Very cool. 
You can see where it was going, but it still hit perfectly. So why not? Sequel. We have that some place before I fucking forget. Off the time I mean to add things, but I just totally fucking forget. But yeah, um, uh, you got a burning love, Mim. In this abandoned world, I am still alive. The thoughts that won't disappear. Your voice and death, brain and all. Now this song. Like I know, this song reminds her, reminds her of of your voice or their voice or whichever way you want to describe it. You know what I mean. And then back into obviously this bit. Again, but yeah, like everything is going back into that love, into that longing, into that destruction, in essence. No matter how much of her is destroyed, it always goes back to that person, basically. I'm guessing it's what the unending means. It's, it's like it's unending love and affection and passion and destruction and everything all merged into one thing by the looks of it. That's no anime fucking opening. I've never. I don't know what the fuck is now. Like that whole chorus is an anime opening. In the way it flows to the lyrics, where do you think, man? There's a mixture of German in there, by the way, if you guys got that. Yo, man. This solo is amazing. I got chills, man. What, that's another add-on? God damn it. Too many ads, man. I want to hear this solo again, but I'm going to take on this Because god damn it, well, that chorus into the solo. Shit, this up. God damn, we're going back a bit. Nope, but back a I love it, man. Gives me chills when it builds into that very, um, you know this bit here? When it builds into that level. But the solo really sticks it, man. God damn, man. This solo, man.
I totally get why some people really stand on Lucky Morpheus because they are like insanely talented in so many ways. I can listen to that story for hours, bro. Let's pause it there. I meant to pause it after the solo, but I totally was too far into the music to really pause it. But stop. Let's see. Uh, the doors of guilt, the karma of pleasure, the gaze that rejects, kneel and beg for the only salvation, forgiveness for the unholy communion. I see, I'm kneel and beg for the only salvation, that makes total sense. I can know if it's an unholy communion, I need to beg for that forgiveness for the unholy communion. I hear it from the bottom of the well, sweet darkness that tickles the air, purity that attracts and demands to be unseen by all eyes. Salome, I'm guessing that's a name. Everything, everything you will desire for me. And if it were half of my kingdom. Like, yeah, like, no matter what, even if you have to give half of your kingdom, it'll be worth it. At least, like, in the witch's eyes. That's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's a witch. From the looks of it, just judging from this specific song, anyway. Let us dance, let us obey. For the hope of love, if it blooms beautifully, bring it to me. Well, I think we're also going back in her memories as well. Like, we're going to go almost to where they met. You know, to where they're kind of playing each other. In a weird way. Let us dance, let us obey, for the hope of love, blah, 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 we did that already. Dance for me, kill this woman, dance for me, kill this woman. Ivory doll, touched by cold skin, tonight the stars are found, like biting into a ripening box. I like, guess she's like an ivory doll, touched by the cold skin, like, you know, almost like a vampire. And then tonight the stars are fired, you know, you can't see the stars, they're not, they're hidden by clouds. And I like biting into water, basically. Interesting. Like, you know, it has that weird fucking taste whenever you bite into something that's a bit old. I don't know, man. Something to that degree. Like, it's very, very, very metaphorical. In a lot of ways, and, metaf and metaphorical things don't translate very well. So it's kind of difficult for me to break shit down. Anyways. <laughs> This bit is the dance for me, kill this one, but... I'm pretty sure. Oh, it could be this, but... Well, it could be the last time, the last time, but it's one of those bits. Never mind. Yo, this is brilliant and beautiful. This one's my favourite so far. I'm definitely my favourite so far. Amazing, from solo to the way it built the chorus up towards the end. Beautiful. Anime as fuck, don't get me wrong, but beautiful. And nonetheless. Let's see. Everything, everything you would desire for me. Is that not what you? Is that not what you d desire? Like, just if you don't desire everything from that person, like, what do you want? Is what he's asking. Oh, I'm assuming. Uh, let's dance. Let's obey. hear it and see me. As love's secret, I'll kiss you. I'll exchange a kiss. I'll, I embrace you to your neck. Like, yeah, basically very, very vampiric. And like, yeah, that's the dance. This the kill. It's the little. Bits of vampirism running through it, which is very cool. But still amazing. I love the music, man. Like half of this, I'm not even really caring about the meanings as such. It's more like um, what's it called? It's more like how the music sounds, more about how things go that kind of way. But still, you get the idea. This is a change, man. A massive change, but Adam.
Oh yeah, this is the one about so I remember. We know about the Sora franchise. Weirdly, randomly. It's very happy considering it's about the Jigsaw killer. Jigsaw mean so is a very fucked up service look. Just before the cross. I know, this one's not hitting as much. I love it lyrically. Like, I love the lyrics, but... Ever the gas. I don't know. It might grow me. It might not grow me. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, so do we lose everything in fear? You give up a part of your body. Do we lose everything through fear? Like, do you want to give up a part of your body? Tonight, too, you were invited into a secret room of the bizarre and the sane. Two options. All the insane, should I say. Two options brought to you. Do you give up your understanding and surrender to fear? Will you bleed for your life? Like I said, man, it's a much fucking too bright of a song for the lyrics, I'm just saying. Like, it's very happy sounding for how the lyrics are. I know what you're doing. You know that I'm not lying. That's from Saw, like that. Like, you know, like, you know that I'm not lying. That's part, that's from Saw. Let's watch from here. He's called the Jigsaw Killer, but he did not cure anyone, technically, anyway. Put me in a, in a special place. Like, very much like almost on Jigsaw's side, which is interesting. You were so afraid you'll lose everything or give up a part of me. Which way will I end up? Let the games begin. It's very random adding a random saw song into the middle of this, but you know what? Fuck it. Whatever they want to do, I guess. Sinners, remember your sins. I want to play a game. I will give everyone fair redemption. The choice is yours. Before the hands of the decorated clock advance. Look again at the life you take for granted. It does kind of fit the unending bit, you know, like the where it's going backwards in time, where it's kind of... It does fit a little bit, kind of, maybe a little bit... Weirdly fucked up, a little bit weirdly placed, I would say, but I Faze is saying, do you care about your life enough, man? Do you care about your sins? Will you bleed to survive? Will you survive? Hi, Bishop. Interesting. It's a very weirdly placed thing, like I said, man, but interesting. Interesting. Don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about it, yeah. Yeah, see, obviously make your choice. Chain to your bare feet, rules and absurdities. Don't waste a drop of reason. It's not my role to lay hands on you. I too am bound, you know, by the game, by his own Ross. Do I lose my whole body? You did a bit already. Did a bit already. I understand and accept. Look for the key that has been prepared for you. 
The supreme choice is live or die. Know that life is heavy. If you can get out of it, you won't be sad anymore. The only way to survive is to make your choice. Like, yeah. I don't think they mean it as, like, a literal saw, but, like, you know, they're taking, they're twisting the meaning of saw, and, like, basically. Like, you know, that live or die, make your choice type shit. Instead of shedding your own blood, it's, like, choose not to be sad, choose to enjoy your life, choose to experience and to understand it, to appreciate it, to find the key towards it in, like, a weird way. They're twisting the meaning quite a bit. But still, interesting. I've never heard, like, a really happy, symphonically... Um, motivated saw song that's very strange, but I I kind of like it. I don't know. I need to, I need to listen to it a few more times. I think man, but still nice. Into probably my favorite off this album, most of You chose a lucky move, this one. They're always a weird choice. Let's pause it there. I think the whole point of this album is that it doesn't end properly, right? Like, it's unending. So. I think it's like loads of like little bits that kind of link but kind of don't. So like it's unending, unending, unending all the way through. It's just a little... It's like a single to album but it's not a single to album. Like they try to make it make sense by not making it make sense. Is what I can tell from this point. Like don't ask me how, why, what. Like it doesn't actually make sense lyrically. If you put it all together there's not real any like coherent sense behind it but... I don't know man. I could be missing the point but... I don't think so. It could also be the translation that's messing me up also, but it's unfinished in concept, yeah. That's what I mean. Uh, the quickening of the wind, the beginning of a song is like a forest. Pride is the only thing that counts, game star. That's going back to Saul. Like a fire to invade, like a mountain to be decorated. The curtain has, has opened the highest league. Almost like we're in a video game. We're top of the end, like top of the mountain. Come on, keep going up, sharp in your senses. I prefer another word world to the world i'm i am a, a magician a swan and i flap your wings aim to top of the I mean, you know top of the mountain top of the i know it's about chess like oh i know it's like i'm pretty sure it's about chess if i remember right now like i remember somebody telling me about it when i first read it it's something like that it doesn't make sense to me i think it's either chess or some or like no it's not the chess it's um what the fuck is it it's um it's like a japanese board game and i can't remember the fucking name of it it's like, you know, that kind of thing. It's like a board game. Like, it's why it doesn't really make sense to me, this one. But, interesting. I'll put my own version onto it. I don't give a fuck. Either way. Make the best of your situation. And wait for your destiny. Mate, seriously? <laughs> like, whatever. Um, still, it's not easy to make a profit. Sometimes you have to hit a stone bridge too. The king who stands in the way of the devil. A tyrant who, who, who is on the rampage. You've got to control the important issue. Let's keep moving through the stormy seas. The best defense is good offense. I'm a pirate. Okay, this makes sense about a board game. I can see the kind of references, but I don't know the game specifically, so. And yeah. It's a very cool song musically. I, be, I prefer it musically than I do lyrically, if that makes sense. But still. Let's go. <laughs>
Battle Lyrics are fine, we can make it good lyrics, so yeah, exactly, you're right. Yeah, I know what you mean, look. I like it, it's a, it's a very cool concept. That does make sense to be fair. I was thinking top of them would be my favourite off the album so far, but no, it's still Salome. <clears throat> Out of all of them so far. Like, I would put it down the rest of it, but it's not really going to make the most sense the way that we go through. You could, like, twist it and do it, but I've already reacted to this song before. So it's not really, like, a first initial reaction. Like, this is probably my second time reacting, but I've heard it a thousand times. So, I don't know, man. Like I said, prefer it musically to lyrically, but a very fucking cool song. None of the less, man. <laughs> Ah, they're not synced. Oh, this sounds like they're gonna be sick, man. Very heavily stuff on it. I have a feeling it's trying to build right till the end. You know what I mean? I feel like it's definitely like a builder. Like this one. I feel like it's building up to that flight amazing end. You know, where like the whole song just like all leads into that one moment. It kind of feels that way to me. Anyways. Let's see, running around in circles. Roaring and walking like bees, or waking like bees, should I say? I, a stranger, panting at an early ball, at an early bow, sorry. All the memories that haunt, don't know how to say that word, and um, find out the truth of my mortal life. Find out my name to the Yamaguchi of the labyrinth. Find out my name, Mummer's wanderings. Uh, to the leaves of the abyss, to the darkness, deeper than death. Dog, you're a mago, a nobody. I can't see through the nightmare's edge. Like, that's the name of the song. You know, the Dugora Mago is the name of the song, isn't it? So. But still. Let's see. I don't know much about it. Like, honestly. Um, I don't know what it's meant to be like. But that's why we have Google, right? Oh, it's a mind control cast. It's like it's taking control of your mind. Okay. Makes sense. But actually, does make sense. I see. Um, yeah, like, she can't see the nightmare's edge because she's being controlled, like, you know, where she's being controlled into being a nobody, I think. Something like that. Running around in circles, the anatomy of oh, psychopathology. Nested dolls that go on forever. Like, nested dolls, like, you know, where they've just been taken over by a brain or a form or a physical thing, or... You know, like, Chucky, kind of. Let material science be crushed. Psychological slavery over the millennium. It's like, yeah. Literally, like, going around trying to control everybody by their mind. Why? 
almost putting them in, almost making them into dolls in a weird way. The mummies, I think it means mummies, you know, where it's like, you know, a literal, like, mummy wandering around. It's kind of making sense. I'm kind of getting there. Like, the translation is not helping me, but I'm trying my best. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> Probably. What a surprise, man. The drums are crazy, man. That's not a very nice thing to say. Why they just translate like I did? They actually translate the same word. I don't know what you're on about. Okay. I don't see you doing any better, so. Whatever. Um. Anything else to write down? Let me see. Um. Uh, escape the trap that is hard to escape. Uh, mirth and dazzle overlap and overlap. I can't tell whether it's false or real. Uh, she can't tell whether her, like. Reality is false or real, is what I'm assuming. Like, her reality is overlapping itself, so she can't quite tell where she is. I found out my name, hooked and travel, find out my name. The end is the beginning, find out my name, hell in my heart. I'm like, yeah, like she's like got that internal torment too. We're going around in circles, quite literally. Yo, it's proper English, man. Holy shit. She sounds so different singing English, man. It's weird, but it's nice. The song's really cool too. I may as well add Fuck it. Oh, why not? I've added like half this album already, right man, but I haven't. I love the chorus, man. The chorus is catchy as fuck, man.
Damn, man. It's, it's so weird hearing Fuki sing in English, man. Like, really weird, but enjoyable. None the fucking less. But, yeah. Let's see where the fuck we're going for the very, very, very end song. In the darkness, we lost a precious thing. There is sorrow in your eyes. Like all blooming flowers on earth, faded overnight. Like, yeah, like, you know, when it goes into that winter time and all the blooming flowers just, like, kind of not bloom anymore and fade away and die until the next um, spring and summer. And that kind of a way, like, the darkness is like, you know, like, you know, your brightness, like, the brightness is gone. Like, there's just sorrow left. There's the great achievement in my heart. Like sowing seeds of life. We are the successors. And I will never forget his light. So was I just talking about like a father figure. Rather than a. Like somebody more closer than that. Like you know, it's almost like. Like you know the successors. Which means it's kind of like a father figure right. He said all the time. Always remember what he sang. There is meaning to life. Follow the way to greatest heaven. Carry on sinking to the sky. Don't have to cry now. Believe in me. We will shine your life someday. Like. I get where they're trying to go. I think I think it's like, like the greatest heaven is more like saying like you'll find your way someday. You'll find your way to be happy one day. Like as long as you keep on singing to the sky, keep on singing when no, like even if and like like, like nobody's watching you, like nobody's listening, like like not giving a singular fuck in that way. You don't have to cry now. Just believe in me, and like we'll eventually shine your life one like someday. We'll eventually break through that dance and bring you into the light. It's not easy to get rid of sadness, but he is by my side. So we have to face the fair all day with the music he left behind. Like, it's definitely a father figure. Definitely that kind of, like, sadness in that way. Everything ends. Everything happens for a reason that we know. We can make the crying angel smile just like he did before. And yeah, you get the idea, right? We're very much about, like, a passing parent or something to that degree anyway. So, let's go. I think my favourite thing from all of this has been the solos one. The solos are my favourite bit. This is a classical composition, it sounds like. I don't know what it is, but it sounds like. Yo, key change, man. They're really bringing out, man. Giving me chills at the same time. But you know. I mean, we really don't need the crowd at the end, but yeah, I totally get it. But yeah, very much about a, about a father figure, about like a dad or we could do it about mom, I guess. Change the heat to her, and it kind of works the same way, right? Like it's like the parents saying, like you'll find your happiness one day. Like you don't have to cry. I believe in you, like that kind of a way. 
Actually, I'm, I'm actually going to hit really hard to somebody. Like, if they like, in the right circumstances, man, they can imagine it hits perfectly. To me, not really. I don't really have that. I can think of it to my granddad, I guess, but... Like, I've never really had, like, a dad in a sense, so... I don't know, man. don't know. But still, I imagine it would hit very hard for some people. I can imagine, but still. I don't think it's much after battle. That's literally, like... Yeah. Like, there's literally, like, everything happens for a reason, and... You could be happy, and that's the main motivation of the song. Interesting. But yeah, Alpha's done, so... Like, as Lula said, man, Lula gave the best description that I can probably think of right now, so... I feel it's an album of songs that they want to produce, but they don't fit on any, like, specific album. So they just put them all on one. Like, you know, where it's all, like, the all unfinished, the all little projects they started, but they couldn't quite place them. So, so they're like, you know what? We're just going to put, like, a whole bunch of amazingness onto one album and just see what the fuck happens, and that's kind of what they did, so there's not really any meaning. Um, like I said, my so the solos were my favourite bit. The solos were amazing all the way through. Um, freaky, amazing as always. The Growler, hit and miss. Mostly hit, a little bit of miss. But that's normal. A couple of songs that were... Most of the songs were amazing. A couple that were misses with me. But besides that, a pretty good fucking album. Like, a. Uh, a bit, a bit higher than maybe like, I don't know, I don't really do ratings, man, like, uh, like, not quite Spires level, but like, a little bit below that, like, somewhere around there, like, I don't know, like, say if Spires is a 10, this would be like, a couple of notches below that, anyways, interesting, I hope you guys enjoyed, anyways, I have a Patreon, if you'd like to request any albums or other stuff, besides that, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, have a wonderful fucking day. See you guys later.